What better way to celebrate Queen Elizabeth II than through music and here in this fantastic setting of the Tower of London. There's so much history here. We have the wonderful chapel of St. Peter at Vincula, where a number of years ago, actually probably about 40 years ago, I sang for a very brief time. But um, this place abounds in history and this concert celebrates basically 400 years. So we go back to the other great Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth I. Um, and Putting a program together that celebrates those, these two wonderful monarchs uh, has been a great pleasure for me. So the program is devised around the two great Queen Elizabeths. And for the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II, this wonderful compilation was made, a garland for the Queen. But 400 years ago, a similar compilation was made by Thomas Morley, The Triumphs of Oriana, in honor of Queen Elizabeth I. And also around that time, William Byrd and Thomas Tallis produced their uh, fantastic publication, Canciones Sacre, which was to celebrate 17 years of Queen Elizabeth I. So go on 400 years and we come to Queen Elizabeth II. And as I said, this wonderful compilation of Garland for the Queen, where we've chosen a number of pieces from that, but also from a publication some years later celebrating the Diamond Jubilee. And that was a choir book for the Queen. So we've got some wonderful music. There are two very special moments in this concert though. Um, one is Britain's Gloriana dances from his opera, Gloriana. Uh, but this is in the setting for tenor, harp and chorus. And uh, it's, it's very much a mask. And perhaps the highlight of this concert is a new commission by the Genesis Foundation of a work by Cecilia McDowell that takes the text from William Byrd's setting, O Lord, make thy servant Elizabeth our Queen. I've asked Cecilia to actually compose her version, uh, which is an adaptation of Psalm 21 for choir and harp, so we make use of the harp again. And I'm really looking forward to that. Cecilia is one of the towers of, of choral music today, just in the same as William Byrd was back in the 16th century. It's now just over 15 years since they started an amazing partnership with John Sadinsky and the Genesis Foundation. Um, you know, I've, I've got ideas, but John has an abundance of ideas and we try and just make them work. Um, but one of the most amazing things of this collaboration is the way John wants to uh, commission new composers and very often young composers as well. And that's, I think we've done something like well over 20 commissions now of all sorts of texts. Um, and it's been a, a, a really, fundamental uh, principle of the, of the Genesis Foundation and the 16 to actually further new music. Um, but not only that, not only new music, but actually new singers. Uh, we started Genesis 16 now over 12 years ago, and it's been an incredible success. Well over 200 singers have gone through our program. Um, we're talking about students aged between 18 and 23, and just trying to find the new the sort of the new ensemble singer, but it doesn't have to be that just that. Uh, so many of our alumni have gone into teaching, uh, solo work, opera, uh, all sorts of things. And 90% and, and of them have remained in music. And I think that's a great tribute to the program and a great tribute to John's foresight um, and, and just thinking about the youth today and, and allowing people to follow their dream. It's a wealth of fantastic music. I mean, not only old, but new but the old sounds new as well. And that's what I always say to people, come and listen to the 16, come and hear them, because we make music of the past live and we give a platform for music of today.